The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted the chart of the FTSE up today. I've lost the chart of the Durman DAX. They looked exactly alike. I can't find it. I I don't know what happened to it, but uh, since we don't trade it very much, it has the same, pretty much exactly the same pattern. Uh, I will be doing Tom O'Brien's show at 3 o'clock today. Uh, Tom is out of the office. If you have any questions, 877 Nine two seven six six four eight. Well, we are having a very, very bifurcated market, as Basil would tell us. I'm going to give you my two cents worth, folks. And if I told you many times, if you pay more than two cents, you've overpaid. Let's take a look here at the old Dow Jones Industrial Average, where we are as of a few minutes ago. I want you to take a look at this because this is extremely, extremely important. We are sitting at the 61% retracement there at 33,100. 33, okay, we've taken out the low of May, all right? And we're right at that spot right now. You can see we're down about 10 days in the move, so we're extremely oversold. Folks, if we close below 33,000, uh, this is not going to be good on any stretch of the imagination. If you look at this chart closely, going back to December, you can see there was an ABCD pattern measured to 34,650. The high on the market was 35,000, so it was in within 1% of the high. But this is the importance that we're looking at today. The fact that it stopped there about a half well, about a half an hour ago was relatively important if you're looking at the Fibonacci numbers. And since we're talking about Fibonacci numbers, yesterday I did a, a little uh, run through of a, a, a of a program I'm going to be doing in the Far East here uh, uh, sometime in, in in October, and uh, there was a secret slide in there, folks, and. Uh, I would I would have I would have bet a nickel that I would have gotten one response from somebody about the secret side slide, but uh, I didn't get it, so I would have lost a nickel. <laughs> anyway, keep a really close eye, to, folks. Thirty three thousand is what you want to be watching here in this Dow Jones E mini because if that breaks, uh, and if that breaks, that's going to be bad. That's my uh, that's my two cents or if that's we're looking at this right here. Okay, all right. Now the next thing I wanted to do is I want to take a minute to talk a little bit about Dr. Copper. This was sent to us from one of the folks at uh, Goldman Sachs. If you'll give me a second here, I'll get this up here, and we'll all be able to take a look at it. <clears throat> this is a chart about what's happened to copper. You notice the trend lines that they've got drawn in here. Um, you know, we're at the bottom end of that. Uh, I believe we're sitting at the uh, the 200-day moving average. That's what that uh, green line is right there. But, uh, folks, the overall bottom line on this is it doesn't look very good. Now, if you'll, if you'll look at the bottom part of this uh, down there, uh, where you see the blue line and the oscillator and stuff, it's basically telling you it's extremely oversold. It, there's no, there's no question about it. But uh, we've gone below all major support. You know, 460, 450, 430, 420. We got down to 416, I believe. And this market's in a cascade. That doesn't mean it's going to stop here, but it's also setting in a 61% retracement from the high and from the low in February. We're right there. That's why 416 is so very, very important here in the copper. So this is the long-term view of it. As you see, the top was made. You can see there was a perfect A, B, C, D pattern that we talked about yesterday. A, B equals C, D. And that's where it came to. It came to 492, and the high was 492 a pound. And that's when Mr. Z was alerting folks that, hey, this might be someplace to be taking profits in long copper because he had been long copper from, I believe, 230 a pound and was still holding it for a you know another uh, few few more days. Now, I'm not sure about this next chart, but someone forwarded it on to me, and I don't even know if it's a real chart or not. 
but it shows you the danger that's out here. I believe this is, I'm sure it's a crypto because it says a token here. It's iron, titanium, whatever that is. It went from $65, $65 to zero. Uh, and uh, that's, a, that's a big sell-off. The good part is this one can't go negative. So uh, I, I just can't believe that it did that. From June, it went from, it went from $10 on June 10th up to $65. On June 15th, and June 15th, it went to zero. Hmm. I don't know if that's even real or not, but boy, that's a little scary. Now, remember, these these cryptos, they're on their own exchanges. So even though they trade them 24-7, uh, you know, you can't always get filled where you think you're going to get filled. And also, you can't get your money out of these things as easy. This is the wild, wild west in those cryptos, folks. There's no other way to look at it. It is the wild, wild west. So remind ourselves that's what we're watching here as we're as we're looking at some of these things. Now, I'm at a critical time in the market, so give me one second here. I have to double check to see where we are. Okay, this is very good, very good. All right, now we are at the absolute proverbial moment of truth, as they say in the trade. So the old cowboy's got to get his old traveling shoes on for just a minute and go over to computer number three, because computers numbers two and four, seven, eight, nine, and 10 are out. And that's what we're looking at here as we're watching these markets here this morning. So we need to pay close attention to these folks because they don't always do what they think they're going to do. And that, in fact, is the real key to what we're looking at. So let's remind ourselves that's where we are. Now, hold on one second. I've got to be just a little careful here because I know these things are a little bit crazy. And I want to be sure that I don't get myself into any trouble and I'm talking so that I don't get anybody into trouble. And now we'll move on uh, to back to computer one. And here we go. All right. Let's talk about something that is near and dear to everybody's heart. Hold on just a second. 10-4. I have been burning the midnight oil, the daily oil, the sunshine oil, canola oil, and all the other oils combined. Here is, if you like ABCD patterns, folks, and most of you do, this comes from our good friend, Mr. R.W. over there in Corona, California. Randy, thank you for bringing this to my attention. This is the weekly crude oil chart. As you can see, we're almost making a double top to where we were in September of 2018 at $77 a barrel. You can see the ABCD pattern. This is a weekly, folks, after going negative in April. Six dollars. Uh, we went, but my, I think we went what minus twenty something, and then uh, that was actually six dollars was the low. But they actually they they put a hammer on you. They wouldn't allow you to trade it down there if you remember. They restricted trading. So basically, you have this A B C D measuring to seventy one ninety ninety one. The high so far in the August crude has been a seventy two eleven. Uh, that was made yesterday. Now, they, this may or may not be a big ABCD, but you have to you have to respect ABCD patterns, folks. ABCD patterns is where it all begins. It's the seed that you need when you're getting ready to make an apple pie. You need apple pie seeds, and that's what we're looking at. Okay, Larry Ruby says the den was very various this morning. Oil is saying the opposite. Well, that's true. Ruby, for everybody that likes chocolate cake, there's somebody that likes strawberry cake. So I like them both. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I'm bringing up a chart here from one of my associates over in um, uh, Egypt, and uh, he brought this to our attention. I mean, he's been a very good student for, oh, 10 years, and he's, he's incredibly successful. But uh, this was a chart we were looking at last week. Uh, the projection that we were looking for on this was at uh, 1769. The low came in at uh, 17. Uh, 6780, I believe, which is pretty close. We posted that on a 15-minute chart yesterday in the room. If you remember, looking at that 15-minute chart, because we had the 382 rally up to 1826 and then straight down to that level. So far, that is held, and we came close to taking it out today, and we still might. There's no question about that. And then, of course, below that, you're looking at much, much lower prices down around 1727. The whole thing to remember about this, folks, is that high that was made there in June at 1919 in the August contract. That was the 78% retracement on the long-term weekly chart, and it was also a 135 pattern. We covered that in the newsletter. Uh, two or three, well, we cover that every week, of course, because it's that important. But that's what we're looking at right here. Gold still has a chance to be bullish if we can hold this 1766 uh, level that we made, 1767 level that we made yesterday. We had a nice rally, you know, 30 bucks, no big deal. Went up to 1793, I think, and then it backed off again, back down to 17. Uh, 70 again one more time so it's still trying to find a bottom and that's it now uh, I someone asked a question uh, if I email that it's something that I don't get involved in but I think I can answer the question and that is that he has seen some uh, notes and uh, tweets and stuff from Martin Armstrong and uh, he's a very brilliant guy and Armstrong economics there's very few guys can stand in his uh, at his table, let me tell you, I, I happen to know Martin, and he is one smart cookie. Uh, in fact, I have to tell you the funny story about that. It was the uh, 1988 in Orange County. Actually, Stan Harley was there, and he was joking with me about it because he remembered it. Uh, Martin was uh, giving a speech, and I was introducing my book, Astro Cycles, A Trader's Viewpoint, and I was really very proud because Dr. Our Commander David Williams had me as a guest uh, as well as uh, – 
uh, Paul Tudor Jones, and it was really fun because you know here I am with all these dudes there. And anyway, it was at the cocktail party on Saturday night, and uh, this uh, lovely young girl was standing there, and I was standing there visiting with uh, I, I don't remember who the other person was. Uh, anyway, uh, she asked me. She says, "What did you think of Martin Armstrong?" And I said, "Well, there's no question about it. I said the guy's as smart as uh, I've ever seen anybody." I said, "But boy, I said I don't think he's ever tasted humble pie." And she started laughing and giggling and everything like that. She says, you know, that's exactly how he is. And I said, oh, do you know Martin? She said, yes, I'm engaged to him. <laughs> and then what does she do? She calls him over here and, and then tells the story and he started to laugh. And, you know, so that broke the ice. It was Peter Lighty's who was standing there. And so they, they happened to be friends, too. So I got to meet him and stuff. And it was fun. That was before he went to jail. Anyway, keep a very close eye on this gold, folks, down at this 1760 level, because it's going to be interesting. We're having a tremendous sell off from 1919 to where we are right now, folks. You know, that is uh, we, we've come back two hundred and fifty dollars and we've did it in 13 days. Days. That's what's so exciting. And, and if you look at some of these other things that have been happening, there's been an absolute – I don't know if they ever got married, Terry, or even if they still are married. I don't have any contact with uh, with Martin Armstrong. I, I know who he is. And he knows who I is, but I, I don't have any uh, – I know he knows who I is. He knows who I am. I'm a little bit punchy. Let's get, uh, but I don't know anything about it. I'm sorry, I don't. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, here is one I want to bring to your attention, folks. We have a bloodbath going on in these grains. I wanted to show you this. This is uh, the wrong chart. Let's just do copper first, since it's on the list. This is why. This is why stops are important, folks. Look how nicely the 61% retracement held at 426. It went from 426 all the way up to 439. It rallied 13 cents a pound, which is not not, not any small sum. That's uh, 4,000 bucks. Now look what happened though. After that, we went all the way down to 415, actually 414. And so far, we're just meandering around that level here. So you've got to be able to use some stops in these markets. If you've ever, I've been saying this, you know. It's, I guess it's my, uh, what do you call it, uh, not my Achilles heel, but it's something that I preach all the time because it's so very, very important. The one I wanted to show is, where is that puppy? It, is it right here? No, that's, uh, yeah, here it is right here. Just give me, get this up here. This is the, uh, this is the euro versus the U.S. dollar. And if you remember, folks, we were looking to look to buy that at the 61% retracement. We did. We took a 10 pip loss. And that was it. And you know now it just continues to go lower as the dollar you know continues to, to go higher. The reason why the dollar is going higher, folks, it has to be related. And this is if you want to take a chart and and see how amazing a chart can look, I'm going to show it to you here. This is the 30-year uh, Treasury bond. Okay, now the 30-year Treasury bond over the last uh, three days has rallied four thousand dollars, folks. Four handles, $4,000 it's rallied. The larger of the two commodities, which is the 10-year uh, note, the TY, okay, it is down from yesterday. It didn't rally at all. You had the long bond go $4,000 straight up, and the notes not do anything. Do, do you know how that happens, folks? We have a guy over there in uh, Florida named Mr. Shane Smolian who talks about Fed juice. It's the Fed coming in and doing that, folks. That's the only thing they're doing. There's the manipulating the yield curve, and that's what's causing that move like that. So we need to pay uh, close attention to this kind of stuff because uh, if it doesn't uh, work out the way it should, oh, my goodness. I mean, that really hurts some people. Not only that, on this last two days, two days in a row, the open interest has dropped in treasury bonds so what they did is they had someone whoever they were a hedge fund whatever was heavily involved on the short side and the federal reserve took them to the woodshed and gave them a lesson in money management because that's what happens it's tough yeah yeah yes armstrong he, he's he's tough as hell, but he's a really nice guy he's just incredibly brilliant terry i mean he's in uh he's out there i mean he really is he's one smart guy i mean he he knows astrology uh he knows uh chinese literature uh you know he's a smart guy he really is oh and he knows it too <laughs> like muhammad ali says if you can do it 
it ain't bragging. So, and he's one of those people that uh, can do it. He is. He's a rather private person, but uh, he certainly knows his stuff. Anytime I look at any of his articles, I always look at him because, you know, he has some good thought and stuff. The one yesterday happened to be related to conspiracy theories and stuff that I don't get involved in too much. But I just wanted to get his view on what's happening with some of these things. So that's my ten for him. We're going to have a little break here. Uh, Rich Anderson is going to be our guest at the break. Hopefully, Rich will be able to shed some light on what's going on with these things, and we will keep a uh, close eye on what's going on. So I hope that helps. And the break will come up here when the music starts, and then right after that, we will have uh, Rich Anderson, 877-927-6648, and we'll be back with Rich uh, right after this music starts, which should be right now. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I believe we have Rich Anderson on the line today. Rich, are you there? You bet. Good morning, Larry. How are you doing? Well, Rich, I hope you brought your crystal ball today because I haven't seen anything like this in soybeans and corn since 2009. 
this has been an absolute bloodbath. Rich, explain to the folks, is well, a lot the, of this the, related? The beans had the biggest growth today. You know, big, say again, day. please. The soybeans had the biggest move ever. Wow. Yeah. Gee, I wasn't aware of that. It was a dollar over a dollar and a half a bushel, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my well, goodness. I, I mean, it just uh, what happens is the, the markets hit stops, and and then you've got the option traders, and it goes through strike prices, and then the option guys have to get delta mm-hmm. neutral, and so then they have to, uh, you know, sell more futures because they're short the, the puts. So for the, your group of people, they need to, uh, in my opinion, uh, the only way to not get whipped out of markets with stops is uh, use options. You know, uh-huh. as your stop, and the way you do that is, you know, on down hard selling, you're looking to uh, buy cheap calls, and then the big up hard rally days, you're looking to buy cheap puts. Now okay. we got some rains, but you know, when it's hot, it's hot everywhere. When it rains, yeah. it rains a little bit here, a little bit there. <laughs> it, 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 it isn't hot everywhere, you know, kind of a deal. Yeah. There, there are more forecasts for rain. Hopefully they'll develop. I mean, I'm being a farmer and knowing a lot of farmers, you know, I mean, it's, it's tough out there. I could count the drops we had here in, in our place in Minnesota. So the mm-hmm. further south, you know, they got a deluge. But that that's what's, go, that's what's going on. And then, you know, you had the, the markets mm-hmm. continuing to uh, react to the Fed, the dollar strong. But, mm-hmm. yeah, the only the, – the, 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 the trading, you know, because they expanded the position size, the trading is just so much bigger than it used to be. We have no floor, and so you just have air pockets where there's there's just not enough orders and and the artificial mm-hmm. intelligence and the algos. <clears throat> they put orders in and then they cancel them, and and it's it's going to yeah. be like this. You know, our stocks our yes, stocks haven't yes. changed, demand hasn't changed. Uh, but the, the critical time for corn is in July. Critical time for beans is in August. And, you know, we need a, a above trend line yields. Uh, a kernel of corn has X ex- potential to, to grow, you know, depending on what type of corn it is. You know, it might have potential to have a 300 bushel yield or a 250 bushel yield or a 200 bushel yield. And every day that they're stressed, it's also, it's, Partially that yield, whether it's supposed to be too much heat or the peak need for moisture in corn is in the middle of July. And then, of course, you have the tasseling that's going on then. If we have these temperatures and that in July, that'll be a problem. But it, it, we're in positions of the their position. Mm-hmm. So you, know, you buy the cheap options. As, as your stop, Rich. Uh, when the, fine, someone's yeah. someone's asking a question. Are, were you self-taught in options, or did you go uh, with someone's book to get started? How did you How did you learn the option business? Well, to be to be fair, the uh, CBOE was the first ones that did options. You know, they did a few options, and then we eventually did JMA options, and and so I was I was um, I somewhat self-taught, but, you know, Larry McMillan has a good book. You know Larry. Uh, Nate yeah. Shel- Sheldonberg, uh, you know, has a good book. But the, the CME has all the information you need to become very uh, proficient in options. You know, the, yep. the exchange is there to, to help educate uh, the customers. Yeah, you know we have David White here in our room at TFN, and he did a seminar last night on, uh, excuse me, on Wednesday, and it was really great on options. And I've, you know, we, we we've known each other just well, it's fifty years now, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, can, I can only it's hard to believe. Uh, the question that I have for you is: Do you remember the stories about uh, back in the days of uh, we heard about during the depression, uh, the the uh, what do they call that thing, the dry heat or whatever it was that. Uh, I don't. They had a special name for it. Gold, the dust, dust bowl, the dust bowls. That the it got right. so hot, it got so hot in the Midwest that peaches were exploding, and apples were exploding right on the tree. Do you remember where that story came from? Was that from the Farmers Almanac, or where? Do you, are you familiar with that story at all? I I am not familiar with that story, but 
back in those days, the, the farming was done much differently, and then it got hot and dry, and they didn't have the, the you know, they, they didn't know how to manage the soil quite as well as sure. they eventually did, um, you know. But still, it, this heat... This heat's been intense, and it's it, when it's hot, it's hot through the whole state. When it rains, it rains a little bit in this part of the state, but none in the other. You know, it's yeah. Um, so I'm hopeful that the the activity in the Gulf, you know, it's going to bring some rain into Louisiana, and, and maybe that'll open up a corridor and be able to draw a bunch of moisture into the Midwest. You know, there's several different models, as I told you. They they take the satellite readings and they run them through their models. They all agree that the, the temperature is going to cool off. It's going to rain, but the, the amount of rain and where it's going to rain, they all differ on. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to have to see what verifies. I mean, right now yeah. the, the weather guys are looking into the first week in July. But, didn't you have uh, a uh, Didn't you have an all time record number of hot days in Minnesota recently? Well, well we had the fourth uh, longest streak of ninety degree days, and that was in June. I, I mean, normally our ninety degree days are in July. Or you know, oh. or August. By the way, it's it's hot also in a couple of the major growing regions of of Russia. And uh, I just happened to catch on the radio today. They were talking. About, they were interviewing a guy in Germany. He was talking about how it's you know it's hundred degrees you know over there. Although they use Celsius, but um, you know it's it's not just hot. Uh, but uh, okay. Mueller came on and said that we could see interest rates increase next year, possibly. You know, that was a comment he made this morning. He's a Fed governor. Well, you know, first they got to stop buying all these. The mortgage back, the $40 billion a month, and 120 of the other. Um, so they're not going to be raising interest rates while they're still buying all these bonds. I would. Yeah. Did and you that, see that's where the, why you yeah. asked the question why the bond, the 30 years didn't, you know, interest rates didn't go up. Well, they think that if they they actually do something early now and within the next year, let's say, or year and a half, that that will slow down things enough that the interest rate, 30-year interest rates will never get higher. So, um, uh -huh. Well, but to see, I've never seen the 30-year bond go up $4,000 and the, and the note, the 20-year note, which is 10-year uh, notes, which is a much larger contract, didn't even move it. Didn't even couldn't even take out the previous day's high. I, I when someone showed me that, I couldn't believe it. I'd never seen anything like that before. Right, and, and then the, and the they, two year went the opposite direction. Yeah, I know. It's totally amazing, yeah. and I guess it's the way they're manipulating the yield curve. So, anyway, do, do you do you follow the yield curve? Oh, we're going to have to take a break. Do you follow the yield curve every day, uh, Rich? Does it give you some insight of what's going on? I think it does. I, but it's a it's a long term thing. Go ahead, do your break. I'll be I'll be here. Hey, thanks. We'll be right back, folks. Rick Anderson, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, 
as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. All right, folks, we're back. We're talking with Rich Anderson. Rich, uh, someone's asked a question that lives out there in San Luis Obispo, and the question was, Were you ever? did you ever go down to the Harry's Bar and party with uh, Bryce and the gang? I know you've been out to visit me many times, but frankly, oh, I don't yeah. know. We, we went down there all the time, Larry. Well, no, Larry never did, but Mark, Mark and I always stayed home, stayed home. But tell the tell oh, the folks. I thought what, we all went down. Well, certainly Bryce well, and I, I were there. I would go there, but I would you know have my diet coke and then leave. You, you know, you but, just left early. Yes, I sure did. I got there, but I got there at eight fifteen, and I was out of there by eight thirty. Tell them what Harry's Bar was like forty years ago, well thirty five years ago there in Pismo Beach when we were all in the trading house because it was really an experience. You know that well, that it, bar was know, started by John small, Madden. It's small town. You know, country western biker bar. You know, yeah, uh, that, yeah. That's it with, with with pool tables. But that was yeah. it, it. Was a, it was a lot of fun. Of course, I never stayed out as late as Bryce did, and I yeah. don't drink, so you know, wasn't yeah. not as interesting for me. But the yeah. the, the two things I would uh, um, make you aware of is that June thirtieth, the crop, you know, the acreage will come out. The bears still think that they could add four million acres. Uh, I don't think so, but you know. Who knows? Uh, uh, Number two, uh, next Friday is when the op July options go off the board. And so all these guys that had options, you know, they get wiped off the screen. And it, it, Mr. Z, last time I was on, was talking about, you know, when the markets started to light up. Well, they always seem to light up once they've cleared all these options off. There have been many times where guys build huge positions and then they expire and then the market takes off. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. The critical the critical days uh, for corn are July. Critical days for beans are, are August, and that has to do with the average daily moisture need. And it's hot all over the state, and it only rains here and there. And the models there's you know three basic models, and, and they all are coming up with different solutions, and they will come up with different solutions. Yeah. You know, three times a day they they run these models, and sometimes they're different solution from morning till night. So yeah. that's what makes it so wow. hard. The, the other thing that I'd be careful about is the government could choose to change their mandates on how much uh, for biodiesel, you know, give the, the president could give waivers on that, and that would change the demand slightly for beans, which I think might be a mistake because then they would be using more beans. And the other one is uh, ethanol for corn. You know, they could just reduce the government's mandate for how much ethanol needs to be used. So the, you know those are those are macro things that they could all of a sudden surprise you with. But the bottom line is we've got very t tight stocks. We need above trend yields, and so far it's been hot all over all these states, and it's only rained here yeah. and there. 
and we're keeping our fingers crossed. If you're a farmer, you're definitely keeping your fingers crossed. Yeah, you know, Dave, uh, Rich, today's a very famous birthday today. Do you know who this birthday is today? It's Mr. Uh-huh. Fibonacci, 618. <laughs> oh, hey, you know the one thing I remember when when I did go down to, to Harry's Bar a couple of times uh, with uh, Bryce, and he it was a biker bar, folks. And believe me, the girls there were tough as the boys. And he used to love to get into their face, and and they would bet for ten, fifteen, twenty dollars on a, and sometimes more on pool. And he was quite good at pool. And this one biker was really getting after. I, you know, they were sort of joking back and forth. And Bryce said, "Do you know the difference between a Hoover vacuum cleaner and a Harley?" Davidson and the guy said no and he said it's the position of the dirt bag and the place just absolutely cracked I mean he just that was it he was he was part of the group after that one so yeah anyway but, hey, listen, but they were I, a lot of cowboy hats and a lot of cowboy boots too though oh did they ever they did they ever that was great it was really something uh, well, I happy birthday the hey, I, this, uh, beat him it, at hey. poker and he'd won $3,500 at lunch playing that and I'd never played before yeah, and I, I, know. I would look at my dice because I knew he could read me. So I just put a napkin over my dice, and he, he didn't think that was legal, that I could bet without looking yeah. at what I had. Yeah, that's that's how he sold cars, because he knew by the, the, by the, the sparkle in the person's eyes how interested they were in the car. Today's Mr. Z's birthday. Happy birthday, oh, Mr. Z. You're the Happy king of the birthday. hill in our brook, buddy. Happy birthday to you. That's really great. Anyway. Hey, listen, Rich, thanks for joining us, buddy, and uh, stay safe, and we'll be back with you maybe in a couple of weeks, okay? All right, sounds good. Take care. You can. Oh, wait, hey, yeah. Rich, one more thing. I yeah. spoke to Paula this morning, and she said, say hello and give her a call. Mark, you remember Mark's wife, Paula? Of course yeah. you do. You know, But yeah. anyway, she yeah. said, give her a call when you get a chance. All right, right, will do. Okay, I'll give her a call. you bet. Thanks. Okay. All right, folks, we're back. I wanted to uh, bring one other chart up that uh, we've been talking about for quite some time that has been – uh, you know, heading off to the races here. We've we've far exceeded now. I want to get this up here. This is the U.S. dollar index, and we are we have blown through the 382. We've blown through the 618, and we are approaching the old 92 and change level in this. And this tells us that the the king dollar is coming back. The euro is under big big attacks, and of course uh, after the uh, meeting by the Fed, whatever they've done, that gives them an indication that that's uh, something that uh, probably is going to keep going on for uh, several more uh, quarters or whatever it is. They do their work back and forth. So that's it. Now, I wanted to bring another one that is very important here. This is the uh, NASDAQ, folks. This is the uh, four-hour chart on the NASDAQ going over the last four months. There's two things to take away from this. And you'll notice it is a three drive to a top pattern. The middle one, of course, is the 1.27, which happens to be 1.128. And look what the look what the relationship is to the one we hit today, folks. The same one, 1.218. Again, Mandelbrot's theory of fractals showing again that these things repeat over and over again. So that's it. Yes, that we were very very bullish. The the uh, the the corn and also the uh, hold on and also the wheat and also the beans last night just on that the fact that they were so tremendously oversold that's all we were doing was looking at that and well that that's going to continue we'll have to wait see this is just the beginning folks we're not we're in the middle of the uh, as rich said we're in the middle of the of the rain, uh, the growing season here you know it's not even near the 5th of July we're two weeks away from that so this is a lot. We're going to see swings. We've been saying that for quite some time. I, I don't know what else to say. Can't you know, can't take advantage of some of them. Some of them you can, but you've got it. You've got to put a place in there where you have to say uncle, because look, if you bought beans, you know, yesterday and they drop a dollar and a half, that's seventy five hundred dollars, folks. You know, that's a. Uh, you know, you can buy three nice cars here in Tucson for seventy five hundred dollars. So you gotta gotta play, you know, defensive. The the money is made by it's not how much money you make, it's by how much money you don't lose. And therein lies the rub. It's what you want to be paying attention to as we look at things here today 
in the Pueblo of Tucson, Arizona, where it's going to be a balmy 111. But, folks, it's a dry heat. Actually, it isn't too bad, actually, 111. I only go out for about 20 minutes. Today I have to go do some shopping for one of my neighbors, and that'll be it. But uh, it's actually quite nice. Uh, You can walk out in the patio, and it's okay. You can't breathe once you get out there, but it's still quite hot. The hummingbirds are okay. I I iced up their water this morning, and they're going at it big time. So I'm the only one, I think, in the neighborhood that ices up the the water, so they're taking advantage of it, and they're coming over. When we get back uh, from the next uh, from the next thing, I want to share one other chart, and then we'll we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Open Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We We take take it it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted the chart of that Dow Jones, folks. If we make new lows today below 31,000, 33,100, that's extremely bearish for two reasons. It's breaking the 61% retracement. And the second reason is it's second we're back we're past two standard deviations from the mean, and that means the option sellers have to come in and start covering positions and it could get really bad. We were down over five hundred in the Dow at one time, and if we break below that, just be very, very careful. I think it's important to remember that. Also, I want to leave you with uh, two charts. One is the chart of Apple 
We went uh, up there yet. <clears throat> excuse me, folks. We went up there yesterday to make the 61% retracement within 10 cents uh, in the Apple, and uh, that tells us that that market is still in a minor downtrend from May, and so far it hasn't taken out that 618, but it certainly could. And then, of course, the final one today. We'll put this up uh, for our good friend Rich because he was the one that alerted us to us. This was. The uh, the action from yesterday when we were down there at around 1350 uh, a bushel in July. Uh, this is the AI program that we look at, and it's had a very very nice rally here, uh, just about uh, 50 cents uh, uh, a bushel. So we'll be keeping a clo eye, close eye on that one here uh, as we go through some of these things. Uh, if you, I'll be on with uh, as I mentioned, I'll be on with Dave. David, whew, hello, operator. Hopefully I'll be coherent at that time. I'll be on uh, I'll be on the show for Tom O'Brien at 3 p.m. today, and we will talk about some of the Fang stocks and a few other things that might be related to the market, including interest rates, charts on the euro, on the uh, the Treasury note, and the Treasury bond. So keep keep in mind. And let's everybody now one final verse of happy birthday to you to mr z the prince among princes we love you buddy and may god bless on fibonacci day 618 live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless and we'll see you on the flip side on monday and we will have none other are you ready than the talking man himself norm winsky happy birthday mr z 